What's up, everybody? I hope you're having a great day. I am feeling blessed and grateful, and I'm especially grateful that you're with me today, where we are talking all about selling properties online. Now, specifically, I'm talking about wholesale deals. Uh, these are properties that we tie up in the contract, and we need a cash buyer for because we need our buyer to come in and close this deal before our contract expires with the sellers. Um, if you're not familiar with the wholesale process, you can check it out in other videos that we do because here at The Cream, that's what we talk about. Nothing but real estate investing, making money in real estate. We are full-time real estate investors and we love providing content and value. In fact, if you're interested, join our free real estate investor group. It is a Facebook group. The link is in the comments and description of this video. And that's all we do is talk about real estate, talk about deals, share networking, share resources, so everybody can be successful together. So today what we're talking about is selling properties online. And I gotta be upfront with you. Facebook Marketplace has been phenomenal for us in selling properties. Now here in the state of Ohio, and I suggest you do this even if, uh, even if you're allowed to market a property that you don't technically own, because here in Ohio, you're not allowed to market a property that you don't own. For instance, I put 123 Main Street in contract and then I'm posting online property for sale, 123 Main Street. Well, it is against the law for me in Ohio to market 123 Main Street because I do not own the property. I cannot market something for sale that I do not own. So here in Ohio, we market the contract for sale because I have the property in the contract. I don't own the property 123 Main Street. I own the contract where I have secured a price with this seller, the motivated seller. I own the contract, so I market the contract for sale. That's just a little pro tip. I suggest you do it just to keep yourself in the clear. Everything we do is above board. I suggest you run your business the same way. But Facebook Marketplace has been phenomenal for us. And here's another pro tip. When you're marketing on Facebook, keep it vague. And what I mean by that, let's pretend 123 Main Street that you have in contract is a three bedroom, two bath, 1200 square foot house with a one car garage in a certain neighborhood. Here in Columbus, let's just say it's in the Whitehall neighborhood. Whatever the case may be, we all have different names for neighborhoods and you know your local area or you know the area that you're investing in. So you're gonna to wanna to know the name of the subdivision or the neighborhood, the general part of the city that you are referring to and looking to sell this property in. So instead of marketing the property for sale or instead of even marketing the address for sale, right, or the contract for sale, don't put the address out there at all. In fact, keep it very general and keep it vague I believe, and from our results, you will get more interest by being a bit more vague. Because what's your goal to do here on Facebook Marketplace is to take the conversation from the main page and from the comments into the DMs. You will close much more deals, much, um, much better deals, and build better relationships in your DMs than you ever will on the main page of wherever you're posting, right? Um, so what you're going to want to do is instead of marketing the address 123 Main Street, you're going to want to say property for sale, cheap, three bedroom, two bath, 1200 square foot, Whitehall neighborhood, right? It's that vague, it's descriptive enough so the person knows what you're selling. Always give a price also, right? So if $60,000 was a good cheap price and you're in contract for less than that and that's your sales price, always give the price, give the neighborhood and give the general specifics. And then you're gonna wanna say, DM me for, prop, you know, for details. And then try to get that conversation into the DMs. So you're not just posting the property, you know, you kind of run the risk then of maybe the seller kind of seeing it. Even if you're upfront with the seller and you tell them that you are gonna be reselling the property or lining up another investor, sometimes we do tell the seller, just very straightforward. Um, call it kind of a partner type of situation because it is a financial partner. If this person's bringing in the cash, right? Um, but you don't want the seller to kind of stumble upon the property. And if you put the address, it could theoretically show up if they Googled their own address, which every seller pretty much does. That's why they all know the Zillow value of their property. 
You're gonna to wanna to leave the address off, keep it general, keep it vague, but like I had mentioned, you're going to want to, to transfer this conversation into the DMs because that is where you're able to build a connection. Our very first private lenders, everybody, when we first started raising private money for real estate deals, it came from our buyers list. That's a great source. It's an untapped source for private lenders when you are able to have a relationship with these people, maybe you've sold them numerous properties already. You kind of know that they're strong closers. They probably own a real estate portfolio. They got access to cash. Well, why not approach them with another wholesale deal and say, you guys are my best buyers, but this is what I'm looking to do on myself. Would you be, uh, this is what I'm looking to do myself. Would you be interested in maybe be partnering on this? You guys can be the financial partner. Right. Um, and then work out a private money lending type of relationship from your buyers. That's how we started. It's very good to do. It's only going to happen in the DMs and it's only going to happen by building a genuine relationship. Now, the ultimate best way to sell properties, Facebook Marketplace is great. And you're going to want to join all the local groups. For instance, going back to our example, if I'm selling this property in the Whitehall neighborhood, um, I'm going to join the Whitehall buy and trade on Facebook. There's all sorts of little neighborhood groups. Join them all. That's where you're going to find a good source of buyers, right? The ultimate best way to sell your properties is not on Facebook. It is on the MLS. So I'm here to let you know what we've been doing. Over 90% of the transactions we're doing right now are Novation deals. If you are not familiar with what a Novation is, it is essentially wholesaling on steroids. This is where you are contractually controlling a property just like in a regular wholesale deal, but now you are also getting the seller's permission to sell it on the MLS. That is in front of every single realtor in your area and all of their buyers, and realtor buyers are willing to pay the most. On-market buyers are already expecting to pay a pre premium. Um, many of these are qualified buyers. That's why the realtor is working with them. So. Learn innovations, whether you learn it from us or learn it from somebody else. This is where 90% of our revenue is coming from right now. And this is what we teach in our coaching. If you've never had a coach, it is the ultimate way to take you from where you're at, where you're at to where you want to be, period. Um, so if you're interested in joining our free group, by all means, it is free, freecreamgroup.com. The link is down below. Um, make sure you are joining those local neighborhood Facebook groups. Buy, sell, and trade groups are really great. All real estate groups, you should always be joining every single real estate group in the specific area where you are investing. Um, and then definitely you're going to want to learn Novations because as I mentioned, it is wholesaling on steroids. You get in front of the most amount of buyers, the most qualified buyers, and you can make the biggest profits. This has been a pleasure speaking to you all today. I'm happy to be back and uh, we will see you soon on the next video.